हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर टू गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स सो हियर रिसेंटली यू माइट हैव फेस दिस इशू और यू माइट हैव गॉट दिस एरर वाइल हैंडलिंग द सेरोडोम और वाइल ऑटोमेटिंग द सेरोडोम दैट फेल टू कास्ट दिस ओपन क्यू एस एलिनियम रिमोट सेडो रूट this has happened because of uh, this issue like it is already reported at selenium and this has been already fixed as well so uh, this happened due to like a couple of issues like maybe up, uh, like updates on the browser and the some api uh, return type has been changed so that we need to take care just a small change is required you can just go through this uh, complete if you want to read like what all things has happened and how this change happen so here i will uh, show you what error you you might have uh, faced and how you can resolve that so the first thing is that i would recommend you that uh, please update to the latest version of selenium because uh, by default i am sure like everybody's browser has been updated so because of this browser update this change has been required and uh, selenium has already incorporated it so let me first show you so the very first thing where you can get the serodom example so just go to selectors of website and here you will get this practice page xpath practice page open this and there has been all the scenarios already mentioned and incorporated so you just check it out really amazing page you will learn a lot from this page so i would highly recommend you to check out this page try to automate this page you will learn lots of things and trust me if you feel that you are an automation expert then definitely you should try this page okay so let's inspect this element here enter name and as usual like if you open selectors hub so you will see here all the information and all the details are here so let's copy the code and we can directly as you know that we can directly go here so earlier if you recall that how we were handling the shadow dom it was here it was the web element earlier the return type of uh, this statement javascript executor here in this command it was web element okay so let's execute this code as we were doing it before so this is how we were uh, doing maybe you can say till today but going forward the return type of this web element has been changed okay so here this has thrown the error that you can see here exception in thread main java class class this one cannot be cast to class this one okay so basically the issue is it cannot cast the like shadow root from shadow root it ca cannot cast to web element so basically here now they have changed it to search context so this statement is going to return basically the shadow dom which they are calling as search context so what we will do we will replace this let me just do command z search context selector uh, i have already incorporated the changes in selector sub so you need not to worry by the way like if you are using selector sub and taking the code from there so you are not going to uh, face this issue but yes if you uh, like following uh, my past videos and uh, if you have uh, taken my training so yes we have studied that we were uh, earlier it was giving the web element as a return type but not anymore it is search context now so let's execute this code and let me uh, also send some value here so this was the username field so let's say we enter here selectors hub at the rate gmail.com and save this and let's execute this code and do let me know like if you have faced this issue uh, or not in the comment section also you can let me know like if any uh, scenario which you feel that i should cover related to shadow dom or any any topic i would be happy to help you guys so you can see that it has entered the value here selector sub at gmail.com and the test case got passed successfully so this is the new change and now uh, this uh, you need to remember that 
the return type of this statement is search context now and here it is not you are not going to use the web element this is going to be the search context i would highly recommend that you go through this uh, thread here so you will learn a lot of things and uh, one more thing if you are using the latest version of selenium selenium 4 so here in place of like <coughs> writing this complete statement like such a long statement you need not to do that directly you can get the uh, shadow dom so here what you can do like let me just co comment out this one this one as well i mean so all the lines you can go let me just copy this line only and here you can directly get the shadow root and just let's comment all the lines here <laughs> and this will return you basically shadow dom itself so which will be like this shadow search context last and now you need not to like type this much piece of code i mean basically this line of code is not required i just uh, selector sub just give you that thread dot with thread dot sleep because uh, if uh, because generally like shadow dom or iframe they doesn't get immediately load sometimes they take some time like one or two second extra apart from the page load time so that is the region selector sub gives the code with the wait time so that your script won't break because otherwise like many times you will feel that why it is breaking so that's the region because uh that the, the separate dom take extra time than the normal dom okay so this is just a basically simple thing only these were the piece of code these are the two lines which generally required so apart from these two lines if you don't want to write these two lines you can just simply in selenium 4 uh, with the latest version you can <laughs> use this piece of line so this will return and this is almost similar like driver dot find element by dot css selector here this css selector is the host selector and this we are getting the get shadow root so for this host like this is the host for this web element like if you go to browser so you see that this was this was the element and for this element this is the host okay so from this host we are getting the shadow root so in the code if you see here it's very simple actually this is the host element and from the host element we are getting the shadow root so basically we got the shadow root which we are not now calling search context and from this search context like this element inside this we can search for the element inside which we want to enter the value and now if we execute this code you will see it will also work so in place of writing like such a uh, big line of code you can directly use the search context method yeah so it has worked here yeah soon we will add this uh, i'm sure like you must be thinking that then why selector sub doesn't give this simple command why selector sub is giving such a long code yes because most of the people are aware about uh, this javascript executor and uh, mostly people are aware about this command so that is the reason in future like once everyone will be aware about this get shadow root and they will be migrated to selenium 4 and the latest version then we will start giving this piece of code and it will be very simple and straightforward everybody would be able to understand so yeah that was the quick uh, update and i hope this will help you guys you can see that it has entered the value this one as well so i hope this uh, tutorial will help you guys to understand about this uh, latest change of uh, on Serodom because of uh, like browser updates so yeah remember that now in place of web element the javascript executor for the Serodom it will return the search context search context is basically you can uh, think of as a Serodom so yeah i hope uh, this helped you guys thank you so much please like and let me know any scenario you thought on this and keep sharing keep learning thank you thank you so much